have Melanie Mitchell here with us from Digitas. Um, Melanie, you yes. talked a little bit about um, how offline efforts can affect search marketing, and that was really interesting. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure, absolutely. And it's something that I believe clients are starting to catch on now, understanding how offline is that trigger point to the online. So think about when you're sitting on the couch and you see something interesting, or it might be a product or information that you're like, huh, I wonder. A lot of times we'll pick up our smartphones and search for more information, or we might have our iPad handy and look for more information, or you're talking to a friend, or you're seeing something outdoors. It's those launching points that then drive search in many cases. It's not that we wake up one day and you're like, you know, I really want to open a checking account or I really want to find a new aspirin. It's like, it's something that you see or a conversation that you have that then launches you to drive and find more information. That's really interesting. I feel like often um, marketers just get lost in online efforts to affect other online efforts, you know, so banner ads for search or social media and forget that the real world exists and matters. Right, and that's one of the things we talked about today. So we have actually worked with people in the past where we had large marketing efforts and they, we had a television budget, we had print, we had online, we had search, and what was happening is that people were saying, oh, well, print's doing X or direct mail's doing X and television's doing X. And like, you know what? I don't think television is doing a whole lot. Search really has a high ROI. So let's take television budget and throw it at search right. because we think that's the most effective channel. And then all of a sudden traffic drops and sales drop because that television commercial was then driving people to look for more information. And I challenge people to think of their own behavior. And I think about my behavior all the time. I'm like, you know what? That is my behavior. Is is these other elements that are triggering me to look for more, more information. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that guerrilla marketing has um, a chance of coming back? I feel like it's died. <laughs> <laughs> guerrilla marketing, which way? Because I think it's it's changed somewhat. I mean, now it's become more social. You know, it's more about the social interactions, about who you trust or who you believe are your influencers or who are talking about things that you're interested in and that are believable. So it's become almost that type of guerrilla marketing that are then creating these viral explosions in all kinds of levels, you know, whether they're entertaining or they're factual. But again, that also drives a search. So it's search is an important component. And I think the key takeaway is that people understand how relevant it is in general, but also how it's only one part of the conversation that's happening out there. And so it's important to realize you don't put all your eggs in one basket with search because there's different elements out there. And it's it's also important to understand, don't forget search. So we've seen cases where people are spending so much money on outdoor and television and all these other elements, and then you're like, huh, you know, I want to look for more information on right. this particular, and my, the case I gave an example on was the Eclipse movie. I want to look more for more information on that yeah, Eclipse that was, movie. that was brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. And they are doing nothing in search, but yet they have these huge campaigns that are outdoor television. They're sending these guys all over the world to promote this movie. It's making tons of money. They've created this incredible social forum on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube obviously spent a lot of time building that community but they're missing that component and when you miss that component you miss that connection point in your whole marketing efforts and that can lead to consumer frustration sometimes brand damage and even lost sales because your competition's there they're ready to jump on that traffic you're creating that's awesome um, one last question sure you know we interviewed most men here and they don't wear Old Spice deodorant <laughs> How do you feel about that? It's, I, I love those Old Spice commercials and I love what they've been doing in the video yeah, and I have an affinity right towards Old Spice because my dad wears Spice, Old Spice, but my feeling is it's my it's my dad's <laughs> deodorant. It's not necessarily my friends or people that I know. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.